Hello, Sag, and welcome to your timeless reading. Sagittarius, I'm very happy. The schedule is changing on the channel, and you finally get a reading every week. So I'm going to leave the comments open. Make sure to say hi. Let me know if you're happy to get more readings. Let's dive in. So whenever you hear the message that comes through, you are supposed to hear it. This is timeless energy. We'll see what wants to come through. I'm going to pick a major card as general energy for you guys. And also a moonology card. Sagittarius. What is happening with Sagittarius? A time for healing. Okay. And the debt card. So... Sag, I've been seeing that a lot in your readings uh, for the past couple months, I'd say. You have been on a very important healing journey. It can be about something specific. It can be connected to loss, of course. Um, this whole journey is definitely helping you transform. And I feel like the most important thing is not the end goal, but the process of you changing, evolving, and again, transforming the way you're facing this difficult thing that happened to you in, in the past or the recent past, the way that you've been facing this situation is very, very courageous, is what I've been feeling every time I do your readings. I know that you guys are known to be kind of the optimistics of, of the Zodiac, but I feel like it's a lot of pressure you know, to have this title, being the optimistic one, being the strong one, being the fiery, you know, uh, talented one of the Zodiac. Like, yeah, it can definitely fit with you, but I feel like there's a lot of pressure there. Sometimes we all go through difficult things. And I think that Saj this year, it was really about you transforming, letting go of something. And what I'm feeling intuitively is that you are slowly but surely letting go of trying to maintain this, this facade. Like other people's perception of you, it's not as important as it once was. That's really what I've been feeling for a while. And I like that. You know, maybe in the past you valued yourself by being the strong one. Being the one who always, you know, show up for other people. Uh, always stay optimistic again. I feel like now you're kind of freeing yourself from that. You want to embrace everything the good the bad the ugly you know this is this is balance it's not balanced to only want the good vibes to only focus on the positive so there's something important about that i don't know why it's coming up so strongly you see the five of cups as first energy this is not the first time it's happening for you i think that your relationship with patience has been growing definitely patience with yourself patience with others also, knowing that there are no time frame to healing, to letting go, to accepting things. You're finding so much uh, beauty, not only in the present moment, but also in moving slow, in slow process, which you know can be definitely triggering, annoying for a fire sign to experience slow moving energy. But that is helping you ground yourself. Again, the way you're facing all of the challenges is so, it's so courageous. This is definitely what I'm getting here. The Queen of Pentacles, a card of self-care. Like this is the ultimate card of self-care. Redefining what self-care is, what it means for you knowing that it doesn't have to cost a lot of money, finding ways to ground yourself. Again, I feel like it's highly connected to your relationship with patience. I like that. I like that. Healing takes time. Growth takes time. 
and you're definitely working on creating some type of foundation for yourself, creating something solid. Uh, and I heard that yesterday somewhere. I don't remember where exactly, but it was like, you know, let's say that living your life is like trying to build a house. You have to start with the foundation. Why are we always focus on the future and the bigger things. It's like, okay, I have to work on my foundation. Right now for you, it's healing. Again, finding ways of practicing self-care that feels in alignment with you and working on your relationship with patience. There's a reason for all that. It's not just to bum you out. There's a very specific reason. I feel that you're working on accepting your own timing, the timing of the universe, finding your own rhythm also with healing, self-care, all of that. Uh, maybe also how much of yourself you give at work. This is something that came up very strongly just now. How much of yourself do you give at work? Um, are you always showing up, always available, always wanting to perform when at the end of the day you're like, well, I'm drained and for what? You are redefining what balance is for you. Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is it. You're very centered, very grounded. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, it's a very esoteric energy. It feels magical, and I absolutely love the Wheel of Fortune in any situation, any reading. But it's a card that's focused on the present moment, like what's here right now in front of you. And checking in with yourself, how am I feeling today? And really dig in deep. Like, why am I feeling exhausted after work, mentally exhausted? What makes me feel nourished? What makes me feel supported? You're working on the foundations. Again, very important. So there could be moments where you tell yourself, why am I dealing with this? Why am I experiencing all of those freaking contractions, those weird feelings coming up to the surface? Um, that's it, because you're working on the foundation and it's not easy work. And that's why the Page of Cups is here. You could be healing things that happened to you a very, very, very long time ago. Things even that could have happened before you were born it feels like you're starting to break the rules. I don't know why I'm seeing the fool. Maybe the fool card will show up. There's something about that. You breaking the rules that were imposed on you and focusing on your inner magic, your inner power. What makes you you? And in those times where, again, you were the strong one, and I believe you still are. In those moments where you push through fear and you experience, you know, heartbreaks and pain and failure in the past, maybe you're going through that right now, maybe not. Where were you getting that strength? And that is also very connected to your foundation. Again, your inner force, your inner magic with the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is at the center of this reading. Queen of Wands is what makes you you. It's water and fire together, the element of that card. So think about a cauldron boiling. What keeps you alive? What makes you feel alive? What, what drives you? You know, is it your connection with people? You know, for some of you, it's going to be money. For some of you, it's going to be love. Um, whatever is that thing that keeps you strong, keeps you fighting for more, wanting for more, keeps you excited to live and to uh, work hard and, and again, showing up for yourself even in the most difficult times. This is the thing right now that is at the center of your world. It's very, very important. And again, it all comes back to self-care. Just listening to yourself, acknowledging the needs, it's self-care. Being present, grounded, self-care. I feel like I used to hate talking about that because there's this image of the self-care. You know, the self-care industry, mental health industry. Like, 
the wellness industry also it's like it looks a certain way online and it, it they tell us like it's supposed to cost a lot of money and we're supposed to look a certain way and that's all bullshit self-care doesn't have to cost anything it's really about how you show up for yourself each and every day and good if you have the opportunity to treat yourself once in a while that's that's really cool but it's deeper than that it's deeper than just the material and what's on the surface Three of Swords, Knight of Swords in the Reverse, and the Four of Wands. Again, what supports you? And what is helping you embracing the slow moving energy, the slow healing energy? Um, I like that. You're definitely connected to your body a lot more than you were before. I don't know what happened. I feel like, again, you worked so hard on yourself, on healing your mental health, definitely your nervous system. There's something that changed in the way that you communicate with others, the way that you use your voice, um, your willingness to have difficult conversation, to tell the truth, hear the truth. You definitely value that. And I feel like it's, it's very important. Again, what supports you? Is it meaningful conversation? Is it um, to have a space where you can use your voice, clear your mind, everything that supports you energetically is very important right now. The four of wands, of course, is, yeah, it's a magical energy. To me, this is the 1111 card. You could be noticing on the clock 1111, um, with the queen of wands and the wheel of fortune right here and the page of cups, very magical energy noticing some type of signs maybe i feel like i have to tell you be careful what you wish for um and that is not just the message for you it's definitely a collective message right now you know we just experienced this very powerful full moon we just got out of eclipse season we are still in scorpio season like it's a time where a lot of people manifest wish for things I'm going to be honest, Sagittarius, it feels like right now the focus should be on you because you are changing so much and transforming so much right now that the things you manifest or you wish for when they show up, you're going to want something completely different. So that's why I'm saying be careful what you wish for because Right now, I feel it's definitely a time where we should focus on ourselves and not try to attract too many things right now, accepting that no matter what is meant for us will find us. And there's something about that. Can you just be right now? Can you learn to just be and not try to attract too much to pull people in, pull things closer to you? Just accept Again, I know it sounds a little weird. How can you learn to just be? Trust me, it takes a lot of courage and a lot of wisdom to do that. Page of Pentacles. Another confirmation that you are working on your foundation. Okay? Planting seeds right now. Every little thing that you add to your schedule, how you start your day, how you nourish yourself, how much sleep you're getting... Everything is impacted you in a very positive way. So again, on the days where you feel not so good, and trust me right now, everyone is going through it. Like we are in a roller coaster right now. Life feels like a roller coaster. So even when you have really good days, you know, you get off that roller coaster, you're still shaky. Think about that. It's very important. Even when we experience very fun, positive things, we're still very shaky when we get off that ride, okay? So remember that. I think that there's something important about that for you. Sometimes you might not know how to channel this fire that you have inside you, like what to do with all that energy when I'm experiencing a good day, you know, when I'm on the height of the roller coaster, like how am I channeling this energy, Again, finding ways to ground yourself. Very important. If you have Earth in your chart, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, you know, your Moon, your Rising, your Venus sign, whatever it is, definitely 
read about that and try to work with that energy, trying to grind, grind your uh, ground, sorry, yourself and not grind, <laughs> but ground. Remember, guys, I'm French, so <laughs> sometimes. Um, okay, King of Swords in the reverse and the Page of Swords. See, the King is in the reverse. I'm hearing you're not there yet, and that's okay. I feel like this is something very important. There could be something very new in your life right now, either a new job, new people around you, maybe you move somewhere new. There's something new. I don't know what it is. It can be a relationship. It can be something completely disconnected from that. Right now, the universe is asking you to embrace this newness. How can you find beauty in new energy and being the new person at something and not bringing yourself down so much, not comparing your journey to others because there's pages all around here. Page of sword, page of pentacles, page of cups. You know, we have the knight in the reverse, the king in the reverse. So to me, there's something about, again, the foundation. I said it earlier, and it's still showing up in the reading. What are you doing? You are rebuilding something from the ground up. And that is also connected to you accepting. Four of Wands, again. Five of Wands. And the emperor, again, what do you do with all that fire? How can I channel this energy and create something positive for me? You could be dealing with a lot of ups and downs right now, having these really high moments and uh, knowing that it's not going to last. There's something like very intense about the energy that you have. Um, again, finding ways to channel that. Five of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Emperor. Emperor is also connected to newness. You know, Aries is the baby of the Zodiac. So a fiery new beginning. Something that feels destined. Something that feels very magical. But it's, it's very connected to your heart chakra for some reason. So either it's someone you're very passionate about or something you're very passionate about. And with the Five of Wands, it's like, I feel there's some type of inner conflict. It can be self-sabotage, or maybe in the past you were someone who self-sabotage um, situation. Trust that you will make the right decision for you. You know, the Queen of Wands is, a, is center energy here. So no matter where you are in your journey, trust that you will take the right decision for you. Trust that whatever is meant for you will happen in its right timing. There's something about that, the rhythm, the timing of the universe, wanting something really bad to happen, but knowing that we can't force it. We can't control other people or just life in general. So that's why the reading comes back always to healing, your transformation. Queen of Wands here, your inner magic your inner fire, and how to channel that fire, creating something solid, creating something real. Really, the goal is how to transform fire into earth right now for you, which, you know, gives me a lot of food for thoughts. Definitely um, think about that. What does that mean for you? Transforming this fire into something real surrender to the divine okay so yeah we have the four of wands that came up two times in your reading again notice when you see 11 11 or the number one repetitively you're going to be noticing this sign a lot um probably even just right after this reading some type of confirmation from your guides that you're exactly where you need to be i feel like right now this is what you need Intuitively, this is what I'm feeling. You just need to know that you're doing okay, that everything's going to be okay, and that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Surrender to that. What do you need to let go of? What are you making room for? And what are the things maybe that you let go of in the past that might be ready to be revisited? 
a lot of food for thoughts. Again, I don't know if you journal. If you don't journal, this is a good time to start, my friend, definitely. And if you are someone who journals, um, go read some of your old notes. Go read some of your old journaling. And trust me, you will find answers and you will be very surprised by your own wisdom and your own power. This is something that comes up intuitively for now. Go back in your old journal, old writing and read and learn something from you. Because trust me, you have, your, you have the answers. Trust your own wisdom, Sag. Thank you so much for being here. Take exquisite care of yourself during this very intense time. Um, I'm sending love. Again, say hi in the comments. The comments are not going to be open just this week. So say hi. Uh, let me know who you are, where you're from. Have you been watching for a while? Have you been resonating? Are you happy to get readings weekly? And if you're looking to learn to read tarot, learn more about tarot. If you want to get to know me, uh, I have a Patreon now. You can join me there. The link is down below. I teach tarot and I do spiritual talk. I show my face. I'm on camera. It's very fun. It's brand new. You know, it's just like two weeks ago I started that and we already have a very cool community of like 100 people. So I hope you join me there, Saj. Take care and I'll talk to you guys next week.